Tesla's cheapest car is no longer, I mean, literally no longer the Tesla Model 3. It's now the Tesla Model Y. This is in America, of course, and this is only if you qualify for tax incentives. But anyway, that's probably most people. And now it's a point of sale credit. You don't have to worry about filing your tax returns or any other nonsense. Basically, you can get the credit right at the time you buy the car. So when you jump onto Tesla's website, if you were to do so, you could get a Tesla Model Y standard range at a lower price than a Tesla Model 3. In fact, there's also some kind of interesting changes to the Model 3. I think you wouldn't want to buy a Model 3 standard range or the long range, that's for sure. If you can get the tax credit, you'd want to buy a different car. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. We do now officially have the list of cars from Tesla that qualify for EV incentives. And if you look at these cars, it's actually more than what we expected them to be. We thought that um, Tesla suggested that the Model Y standard range would not qualify, but actually it does. So that's really good news for buyers. Good news, I think, for Tesla, for everyone. So the Tesla Model X, the standard long range, that qualifies for the $7,500 EV incentive. Probably if you've got $80,000 to spend on a Tesla, you maybe you won't qualify for that incentive, but it does qualify. The Cybertruck, standard range, the dual motor version, that qualifies, not the premium special edition, of course, the standard one though. And a lot of people will actually get one of those this year, I assume, that's good news. Of course, any models above that, in, in terms of the actual tri-motor, that doesn't qualify. The Model Y, all versions of the Model Y qualify. And that means the Model Y in its base version costs $44,000, take away seven and a half thousand. What's that? It's around 37,000 US dollars now. In fact, just under that, 36,500. So that's a, in my opinion, that's a, an absolute no brainer. But the only thing is, do you want to wait for the new version of the Model Y, which is going to be far better than the current version in many different ways? New version, I think, will be a huge upgrade. Juniper version, if you want to see my video on that new version, by the way, I'll put a link in the description below. So what this means is, that the Tesla Model 3 is the only vehicle that misses out on the incentives, the tax incentive. The Model 3 standard range and the Model 3 long range don't get it, which is a surprise. The Model 3 long range, I'm not really sure why that is, but the Model 3 performance does. So if you want a Model 3, then the one you want to get is the Highland version, no kidding. Um, if you want a Model 3, yeah, of course you want the Highland version, but you want the performance version because that qualifies. So if today you're going to go buy a Model 3, which I personally wouldn't do, considering the Model Y is cheaper uh, because it does qualify. But if you're going to go buy a Model 3, probably the best version to get right now is the performance version, which will continue to qualify for EV incentives. Therefore, it's cheaper than the Model 3 long range. Model 3 performance is clearly a better vehicle than the Model 3 long range. It's much faster has more has more standard kit and it's going to be cheaper so that's the one i'd be getting the model 3 standard range is still a little bit cheaper um, it's thirty eight thousand, unless you can get a, a discount on inventory stock which you probably can but i think the model to go for from the model 3 range is clearly the model 3 performance because it's only a few thousand dollars more than the model 3 standard range but like I said, the Model Y, that's the one you want to be going for. I mean, the standard range Model Y is clearly the best deal you can get on an EV in America right now. I haven't seen anything else. There's, you know, there's some other offers that are pretty good from other car makers, which you, you probably could want to consider. But in my opinion, the Model Y standard range is the best deal you can get. Unfortunately, it's not the Chinese version because the Chinese version has been updated with some sort of semi Juniper features. And you can see those in uh, China made cars, which will go to Australia, they'll go to New Zealand, they'll go to many different places, Thailand, Malaysia, uh, lots of different countries around the world. So anyone getting the Chinese made version of the Model Y this year from, um, from now on, will get the new version of the Model Y, which is kind of good news. So to sum up, the Model 3 rear wheel drive, $38,990 is no longer eligible for EV incentives. It uses LFP batteries from China. Uh, the battery packs are done in America, but anyway, the cells are from China. The Model 3 long range, um, that is no longer eligible as well. That costs $45,990 US dollars. And that is um, unfortunate. 
I don't understand why that isn't available, why that doesn't get it. The Model 3 performance is cheaper than the long range. It's 43,490 US dollars after the $7,500 federal tax credit. Still, all that being said, clearly the Model Y is the vehicle to go for. Now, apparently currently the Cybertruck doesn't qualify for some bizarre reason for the tax incentives, even though 90%, 90% of its parts are made in America. <laughs> are made in North America and the Ford F-150 Lightning, only 30% of its parts are made in America, but it qualifies. That is retarded. That is absolutely insanity. I mean, 30% versus 90%, uh, we'll give the tax incentive to the 30%. Okay, great idea. Anyway, apparently the Cybertruck will qualify within a few months time. Tesla has to do something. Maybe it's paperwork. I'm not sure. If you do know what that is, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.